Thousands of Shelby County residents fed up tonight, now without power for a sixth straight day. And according to MLGW, some customers may have to wait a few more days to get the lights back on. Our WRG's Andrew Allison joins us live from MLGW headquarters. And Andrew, what kind of progress has a utility made? Well, Stephanie, most of Shelby County has power, but roughly 40,000 residents still don't. And tonight, MLGW admits one big problem is adding to the frustration. Thousands of Shelby County residents at their wits end, now going nearly a week without power. We know customers are experiencing some frustrations. Some customers really irritated after getting text alerts that their power's back on when it isn't. MLGW trying to correct that error, saying those texts should read the power's back on in your area not necessarily in your home. That's because crews don't always know about every problem on a particular line, so even when a circuit's restored, there could be issues that still leave certain homes in the dark. Once the circuit is energized, really only then are we able to look downstream and see that there might be smaller outages uh, where a, a, a tree limb has fallen across a line, uh, disrupted a transformer, uh, uh, opened a fuse, uh, that might be affecting a small number of customers along that circuit. 22 additional out-of-town crews joining MLGW today, bringing the total number of workers on the ground to roughly 1,200. Dedicated to this effort. Those words little comfort to Daniel Hensley, a veteran who as of this evening has gone six straight days without power. Not fun. <laughs> I've got a pacemaker and seizures that's been really aggravating the seizures and such. I've called MLG and W so many times and they just They've hung up on me. His frustration growing while officials hope to have everyone's power back on by Friday night. This is the process. Um, and uh, I will not tell you that we are perfect in our execution of it. And certainly no, we not know we are not. Yeah, if you've gotten one of those texts, but your power is still not on, MHW asks that you text them back and tell them as they try to correct the problem. Live downtown, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3.